Hi there, I'm Kendall. It's December 22nd. It's the first day of winter and day three, phase three of hopefully finishing off my sewing pattern. I'm sewing 80s. McCall's 8521. Hopefully today is the day I can get it finished. Might not happen, but that's okay. So here we go. I've got my machine set up. I have a cream color thread and cream colored bobbin. I have a stretch needle on and I'm going to start with hemming up the turtleneck that I had. And sometimes I don't feel like ironing down fleece because I sometimes worry that I might burn it or melt the fabric. I've done that before. So what I'll do is I'll just hem it by I feel and have the edges that I'm worried about coming up underneath and then hopefully it'll work out that way. So this is the hem I want to have and this is sort of a rolled over look. So this is my good side to be like this. So on my right side. So here's the right side of my garment. This is the big turtleneck. Now this is going to be, it's going to roll down. So I need my hem to be like this. This is how I need it to be. And so I'm going to go flip this inside out. That's about how much I want. I'm just going to do it by feel. I'm not going to press it first because you can, as you're sewing, you can feel where that is. I'm just going to go around like that. And what I want to do is some sort of zigzag stitch so that it has a higher chance of catching everything. Could do a straight stitch, but what if I come close and almost miss it? And that can happen. So i got a guideline here. I'm just going to go by feel every now and then. Make sure it's about that much. A little bit thicker than my thumb. And I think what looks good is something like number 12. 10, 11, 12. Here I go. Give it some gas. barely see the cream thread through the fuzziness of the fleece. Always making sure that I don't have any fabric underneath getting tangled. It's about as thick as my thumb. guideline there and just feeling with my thumb. There's a seam. I have to make sure it lines up the right way. This will create a speed bump so it could be a tricky spot.
done this part, so I'm just going to press this button to tie a knot. I'm looking around and I can see that I've caught, yep, caught it all. And I was a little bit close right here, but because I did a bit of a, a wider stitch, it caught those little bits, so I'll be fine. I think that's really pretty. Now over to a sleeve. So again for the sleeve, the goal is to have it Come down around this much. Use my little clips. Just want to show how nicely this lined up on the underarm seam. Kind of happy with that. Doesn't always happen that way. sleeve done. Everything's tucked in. <clears throat> Pardon me. Sometimes if I want to, I'll do another fancy stitch that looks interesting, sort of like these ones here, and I will use it just for extra interesting detail around a sleeve or a hem. But I don't think I need to do it on this polar fleece. It'll just get lost in the fuzz of it all. So this one didn't line up quite as well, but when I was surging I had a little bit of a hard time with the fabric and didn't do a smooth job on the speed bump, and that happens sometimes. That would be the sound of my daughter coming home. And she's going to ring the doorbell 50 times until I get up. Love it. Love that kid. She's so fun.